I've always thought about um, taking a trip, like in the winter time, taking a trip to somewhere tropical. I always thought that would be cool. Definitely, you know, definitely that would be. Um, you ever been to Hawaii? No. You? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I used to All live the time. There. I used to live really? there. Yeah, my dad. You know, pops is in the military, so. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We lived there for uh, five years. <clears throat> Uh, beautiful place. I, you know, I was just a kid, but right. You ready to like go back and enjoy it again as an adult? Uh, you know, if, if the opportunity arose, yeah, maybe. maybe. No but you, you know, that's a long ass flight over uh, a big ass ocean. That's true. And that's my brain true. doesn't stop thinking. So, yeah. Well, you have to shut it off. I've been in one of those situations before, too, flying overseas where it's like. Oh, yeah, I remember you told me. Just, <laughs> uh, South Korea, right? Yeah. And it's leaving um, LAX and then seeing the coast of California. Like, you're just yeah. looking down, you see the coast of California pass you, and you're just like. Blue. There's a solid 11, yeah. a solid 11 to 12 hours. I, yeah. I think it's something around, something like that. Well, I, I flew to Japan when I was uh, 15. It's yeah. like twelve. Yeah, the it full, is a trip. Yeah, the full but flight it, was thirteen. So yeah, to Japan, it's that's probably pretty accurate. But probably eleven hours of that is just straight up ocean. Yeah, and you're just like, there goes land. You know? I will be honest though, that was the best, the smoothest ride. Oh yeah, on an airplane my whole life. Yeah. Like so the plane didn't move. I mean, he was just cruising. I guess because you go so high up or whatever, but it's probably a bigger plane too. Uh, yeah, it was huge. It was huge. But need more fuel to get there and whatnot. No, uh, no real bad turbulence. It was just a nice, smooth ride there and back. But um, it is amazing how, like you say, you got to shut your brain off. Yeah, like you can't. Now they have those little radars on the um, on the plane where you can see where you are. <laughs> yeah. So. On the nicer ones. Yeah, the one that we were on, you could flip between that. Uh, you could flip between the radar, and then there was like a globe thing where it kind of showed your trajectory. <laughs> and then there was another screen you could flip to that was, um, it was a camera on the back, the tail wing of the plane looking forward. So you right. could just, you could flip to that and you could just watch like, like as if you're kind of, right. you know, kind of in the cockpit, but you're flying and shit. And then uh, you could change that to the service, which at the time kind of tripped me out. It was like Netflix before uh, before Netflix was like it is now. You know what I mean? It's just like, well, right. I, can, I can just pick any of these movies and watch them. Um, I don't know. That kind of like blew my mind a little bit. But that was that was Korean Air. I don't know what airline you flew. I don't It was, I don't remember. Probably, I don't know. Yeah. It was a super nice flight, though. Um, they had little Korean ladies on there. Yep. They offer you tea and you got a uh, <laughs> yeah, all oh, kinds of shit. You got multiple oh, wow. like full meals. Everywhere you went in South Korea, somebody came by with a hot hot towel. Like if you went to a restaurant. Hmm. Uh, maybe, that, maybe that's not, a Japan. It might be a <laughs> it might be a Japanese thing. They you wash your hands and face and it's real yeah. chill. Tea was, everywhere. Yeah, there was definitely more of that sort of um <clears throat> like personal care kind of thing um like even when we got on the pan the plane they gave us this package and it had like these um socks you could put on that oh, um wow. it had something to do with like the altitude like compression socks or something okay because like i guess the blood flow to your feet and you're on this plane for 13 hours so they they had all that shit figured out where they knew you were going to be sitting there for a long time and it was like you know here's here's all kinds of shit for you here you go make you feel comfortable got you and that whole experience was like damn this feels high class you know but just regular plane i went in the summertime to japan and um <clears throat> they have these crickets mm. and you think you're gonna die just because it's there's the, the noise level is just tremendous yeah so loud so ridiculous i don't know how they do it um but i, I don't know if you were you there in the summertime, South Korea? Uh, so I went in March, and it got cold, really cold, towards the end of the trip. Um, the crickets thing—I thought you were going somewhere else with that. In South Korea, they had 
um, like in, in markets and, and places like that, they had people walking around with like food carts. Okay. Um, and it was just like, you know, this person pushing a box around essentially with a walk on top of it. And like, it's got, it's got two wheels and an umbrella and um, a bunch of styrofoam cups and toothpicks. And they're serving crickets. Like they were cooking up crickets in this walk. And supposedly that's like a normal thing there. Like it's a normal snack. So if you wanted some, you'd pay the dude and he would just scoop out, <clears throat> excuse me, he would uh, scoop out crickets from the walk and give you a toothpick and you would use that toothpick to stab it and snack on these crickets. And boy, were they yeah. good? No, I didn't try that shit. Why not? I can't even swim. Why would I fuck with that? When in Rome, you know what I mean? No, nah, no, nah, I had to... Um, <laughs> stick to as much normal diet as possible just to avoid getting any uh, when I, oh, yeah, that like, me. you know you don't want to be over there and like oh this is amazing and then you try something like that and your body's not used to it next thing you know you're shitting for two weeks and you can't enjoy your trip um that happened to me on the way back um i went for i went for a baseball tournament hmm. in the last night there Somebody gave me a piece of raw fish, Ooh. like a huge piece of sashimi, sashimi, whatever it's called. Yeah. I swallowed it. You know what I mean? No I, chewing. I, no chewing. I swallowed it. <laughs> and when I got home, man, oh, man. Yeah. That was tremendous pain on my my, my stomach, my booty hole, the whole <laughs> nine yards. It was rough. I thought I was, you know, when you're a kid, you don't, you know, you don't know what's going on. Right. You know? You don't know. You don't know. You're on death's door. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're just crapping your brains out. <laughs> but yeah, it was a, it was a bad experience, and that's that's why when fools are like, "Oh yeah, let's go have some sushi," I'm like, uh, "We're gonna have the kind of sushi where they put it in tempura and they dip it. You know what I mean? They right. cook it fully cooked. I'm always I always get cooked sushi. You know that's what, I mean? what the um, uh, I, I don't mess around with the is food. for. That's why they have the wasabi and the ginger. It's to uh, kill the bacteria. Right. Anytime you got to do some shit like that, that's 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 backwards to me. Right. I think now it's more of a flavor thing because it's uh, it's just safer than it used to be. But back in the day, I believe that was um, where that originated from was to kill the bacteria in the fish. I think the um, like, why not just cook it? I mean, it's. I mean, it's. You know, that's 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 my what thing. they do. They they eat the hell out of some raw fish. They I love it. Time to cook it. But I think my 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 uh my little fifteen year old African American body stomach booty hole wasn't ready for all that. You know, yeah. and, that, and that's what caught me off guard. Um, I know the ginger is the cleanse cleanser palate. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So in between, you know, because there's always an assortment of sushi. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody can hit me up saying, no, you're wrong. It's actually because, <laughs> but what I heard <laughs> is it's to cleanse your palate in between pieces. So if yeah. you try one piece of sushi, you know, you eat it with the wasabi, then you get a little piece of ginger, cleanse your palate, then you try another different piece so you can get the full effect of that whole piece. Nice. Listen to me. What am I, a connoisseur? Expert over here. Look, look at this guy. Look at him. I'm finally learning something from you. I'm international. No, that's the... <laughs> I'm international.